video showing how to do uh, like certain things and strategies for uh, help on it. This is only the VR version, um, so I, I do have strategies for uh, like flat mode and stuff, but I'm just going to be doing VR today. And so I'm going to start off with Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and we'll do uh, easy mode and then hard mode. And then I will um, also do 2 and 3 on hard mode and easy mode in this video. So that we don't have to uh, watch three separate videos just to get basically the same information. So I'll start off on like... So basically the thing is, is that these nights are all the same on normal and hard. So I'm just going to go straight to hard mode and just uh, explain strategies. So for easy mode, for this one, basically all you do is you just flip between the two cameras, between a Foxy and Freddy's camera the whole time. And then sometimes you can go to the hallway cameras and check. And then just check the lights every once in a while if you hear footsteps. And then you can actually see Chica in the window, and you can see uh, Bonnie's shadow in the window as well. If you uh, do that, so that's pretty easy. So yeah, all you gotta do here, basically same thing. Just check on Freddy all the time, so he doesn't move. Hold on to him a lot. A coin will be in here at 4 a.m. And there's a coin down here. And there's a coin somewhere else, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where it is. I thought there was one. Might not be. Okay, and this highly relies on sound. Because you can run out of battery very fast. So this will get pretty annoying after a while. You have to, you have to keep switching back and forth between these two. Where is Chica? Oh god. Oh yeah, and the doors do that. It's pretty annoying. I forgot they did that. Where is Chica? Oh, where's Bonnie? You don't get my eye there. Nothing. Damn it. Freddy moved. I don't know where though. Okay, there he is. Okay, Bonnie's here. Foxy's almost here. Build a hold on. That's Chica, isn't it? That's Chica. I actually let them pass by before you actually uh, do anything. Yeah, because see, she wasn't actually going to even stop here. So you got to wait for him to actually. And then we'll just let Foxy run, actually. So if I don't want to actually wait for Foxy, there's actually a strategy. If you, uh, stick your head through the door, and then move it out of the way, he'll come running down. So that's pretty nice. Oh, uh, where's Freddy? Where is Freddy? No, let's just open the door. And hope Freddy's not there. And doesn't do this. Okay, stop! Door. Stop it. Okay, where's Freddy? Is that his eyes there? Okay, so I don't know where Freddy's at. That's probably not good. So, once it hits three, I'll probably shut down uh, the right door. And just keep it shut. I don't know. God, it gets me every time. Chica's almost here. You know, I think I can hold off for a little while. For Freddy. Okay, Bonnie's there. Okay, he's there. There we go. Okay, so now that door's off limits. We just sit on Foxy's camera and listen. And don't even waste light over there. Um, or checking anything. Basically, just look at Foxy. And then just kind of have a general idea where Bonnie's at. You don't even have to use your lights, really. Um, so you see, you can see him there. Now, the only reason you'll need to use your light is when he's at the door, you want to use the light, or close the door and then use the light. So that you can, um, actually, that's the only way he's actually noticed that he's there. It's the only way that the, like, game notices that he's there. But see, he's actually right there. Hey, buddy. But that's the only way the game actually notices that he's show, that he's, uh, there, you know? So, you have to shine your light whenever you close the door. But other than that, you don't have to. 
So see, so shine the light and then close the door. And sometimes you can see his shadow, but all, really you can just look for his hand right there. And Foxy, I don't, don't want to wait for that, so let's just... Drains a lot of battery, but it's better than the suspense of waiting for that. Okay. If I get 5 a.m. 15, I should be okay. It's got to sit here and look out this door, and, uh... Oh, I might be dead. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I beat this like second try on VR. Took me a lot more tries on flat mode though. PlayStation, a lot more tries. Okay, Bonnie's right there. Yeah, throw that up there. Yeah, five percent. That's not good. Well, shit. That's probably not good. Oh, yeah, and I think a coin appears here once you, uh. Come on, Freddy. Come on, bud. Yeah, there. There you go. So, like I said, not super hard. Just, you just gotta use more, uh, like, audio cues to do what you wanna do. And that makes it ten times easier. So that's basically the main strategy for Final Freddy's 1. Let's get the present. Oh, great. Really? Dude. That's annoying. I wanted my gift. Alright, well, let's just do a... Uh... Oh, thanks. Let's do Final Freddy's 2 now. Oh, wait, is there no ceiling there? I'm gonna throw you upwards, okay? Oh, there's no ceiling there. Uh, well, that's weird. Okay, so night five is done there. Now I'm just going to do just hard mode of all of these because it's it's the exact same strategy, just you know harder. It's unlike the other ones. So, all right, for two, basically all you want to do, I'll tell you where all the coins are at too. So the coin back here coin um and then you just want to instantly go to this and start lining that up where's the other one? Oh yeah there's a coin when you put the mask on there's a coin right there and then when the marionette jump scares you there's a coin that'll appear like right there somewhere so basically what you do is you line this up every once in a while check here check all these line it up once you get it to full, basically you just want to wind it up to full, check, wind it back up to full, and then check. And it's all you want to do the whole night. And then obviously just the main strategies for uh, Finance Freddy's 2, so see Foxy, Flashlight, see Bloom Boy, or anybody else, um, you have to, uh, if you hear Bloom Boy, he actually makes noises, it's really loud ones, he'll laugh and talk. But, um, so Foxy, you see, you just spam the light until it doesn't let you use it anymore. Hello. And then, with, see, he says, oh, wait, he's not there, wow. Usually he's there when he's there. But yeah, you just play through this. And you keep flashing stuff until you, oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. Little turd. So yeah, this is, it's pretty boring, because you just gotta, uh, so you just kind of sit here, uh oh, hey Freddy, how you doing, it's all pretty easy, Especially, oh my god, especially easier nights, easier nights, or what, earlier nights, are so easy. But even like nights like this are still pretty easy. Mostly because basically only the toy animatronics are here. Um, only in like the withered night are the withereds really even here.
still gotta find four coins. Hello. Hi, Bloom Boy. Oh, no. I might be dead. <laughs> How am I not dead? Hi. Now, everyone else, you have to wait for them to actually go away. To so put the take the mask off for Balloon Boy, you just have to put it on so then you hear the noise and then he goes away. So he can't actually affect you after that. And he can only appear on the uh, on the left side, like in the game. Uh oh! Wow, Foxy was right there. Holy crap! I've never actually been killed by Foxy. I've only died one or maybe two times on this VR. And um, one time it was like not fair really because it was 6 a.m. and then they jump scared me, which really, oh my god, you wanna go away? It was 6 a.m. and then they jump scared me, which really wasn't fair. I don't know why they have that as a mechanic. It's where they can even kill you after you can't do anything. It's pretty stupid. But I mean, whatever, it's not a huge deal. Oh my god. This headset is, this face thing is super. The, like, you can buy like an extra like rubber thing for the headset and it makes it a little more comfortable. But it's super annoying to adjust. Foxy, go. Right. <laughs> like I said, pretty, pretty easy. What? Oh, shit. Hi. Hello. Hi, Blue. Hi. Usually that like crunching of metal sound is usually foxy. Sometimes it's vents, but it's usually foxy. Easy. That's probably the easiest uh, section of this whole game. I'll just hope I don't get another plush trap jump scare. Ooh, a Freddy toy. Oh, oh, oh. Bye. Okay. So that's two done. Let's go to three, which is probably the easiest. It, one's probably the hardest. Two's probably the second easiest. And then three's probably the easiest. Especially if you know what you're doing. So you don't want to have to get into the vents. Now, that's basically the only problem. Don't look over here like this. Just look at this and always just reboot all. So my strategy find spring trap. Right there. Now, let's lure him to this room, and every time you do anything, you just reboot all. Anytime you do anything with, like, lures or anything like that. So, let's find it. Where's Springtrap? Oh, he's right there. Wow. You want to go now, please? You want to go? Get. That's what I thought. Oh. Um, I don't, I don't see him, but he's here somewhere probably. So let's just go over there. We want to get him up to 9 and 10 right here. Okay, there he is. Okay, that we end up there. Nine on him. Okay. Is he over here yet? Or is he in the vents? Okay, he's not in the vents. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Wow. You've never Hello. been this active, buddy. You want to not do this? I think 
Thank you. Hi. Let's go over there now. Usually this is like ten times easier than it's supposed to be right now. It's like ten times easier than this usually. Okay, where is right there? Hello. Over here. Once he gets here, we'll lure him over to here to eight. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hi. Play another lure. To make sure he gets over there. Okay, so he has to be over here. Oh, damn it. I didn't get out in time. Well, crap. If I can get him here, I can see him, so that's good. Hello. What? How the hell did that happen? I've never actually died on this night. Okay, that's weird. Um, whatever. Let's die. Start this again, I guess. Start off by finding him. Okay, he's right here today. Hi. Do you remember there? Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. Where is he? Dude! Go away! Hello? I want to get him as far away from you as possible. Okay, now he's over here. Hello. Let's lure him there. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, let's get him here. Come on, buddy. Let's move here. Come on. You got this. There you go. Alright, now Hi. we're going here. You want to get him to nine as soon as possible? Let's get him to nine. Now here's where this just gets easy. Once he gets over to nine, it takes him a while sometimes. Then you just lure him to ten, and then once he goes to ten, instantly lure him back down to nine. So if he's walking, instantly go back to ten, uh, to nine, because once he's at ten, he can actually go through that vent there, and we do not want that to happen. So play lure right away, and then play another one just just to be safe. And then once he moves to nine. Hi. Play one at ten. So he's stuck in a loop here now. So play one at ten. Hello. I played two just to be safe. And make sure you don't get caught with Balloon Boy on your screen, because that'd be bad. Come on, buddy. Let's go over there now. Thank you. Now let's come back over here. Come on, buddy. Go over here. Oh, and if you get a ventilation error, there's a coin there. There's a coin here if you type in a certain code, and then there's like a coin here, like right there, and then there's a tape here. Hi. So bring back over there. And that's all the coins I know of. But okay, remember, don't let him, don't let him stay at uh, Cam 10 for too long, because he will go through that vent, and then that's not very fun to deal with, because he's very fast in the vents. Hello. And, Obviously, don't let him stay on nine for too long because he'll get to you faster. But yeah, just keep him in a loop the rest of the night. Hi. Okay, back over here, buddy. Stupid DD. Moron, go over there. So stupid. 
Oh, and I think there's a coin back here too, somewhere. Or the, no, that's where the tape's at. The tape's back there. Hello. I feel like I'm, I'm missing coins, obviously. So where are they? <laughs> oh wow, that wall just doesn't exist. I guess. Hi. Right back where you came from, idiot. Bring... Oh! That's how you... So, you actually can't get, um, anything into the vent, see, it blocks it. But, I guess, uh, if you throw it through the wall, imaginary wall, then it goes through the vent, too, because the vent's also imaginary. Wow. <laughs> I guess these gas leaks he was talking about really are real. They're messing with me. That's crazy that just happened to stand up like that. Hello. You'd rather have him come towards your office than go through vents. If you go through vents, you're dead, basically, unless you find him. Yep. I'm not sure what happened there. He must have went through the vents or something before. Yeah. Pretty easy. Not a lot to keep track of, and it's basically just an easier version of Minus Race 3. Oh, cool. This is fitting. This is fitting for this level. Let's try it. Delicious. Alright. I'm going to check the prize counter, and I think that's... Yeah, that's it for, uh... And I'm not gonna do a tutorial on these, because these are so easy that it's, like, just kind of pointless. Um, I could do tutorials on these, but once again, these are super easy. But I guess I'll do these next episode. Um... I'll probably just do Mangle, because Ennard's super easy. But yeah. Let's go to, uh... Price counter. Actually, I'll do both of them. I won't do... I'll do hard mode on just both of them. No, I won't do easy mode. Ooh, a coin. Sweet. Okay. So I missed one plushie. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight toys. So I'm only missing, uh... Nine things in total. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna end this video here. And I'm just gonna start up another one of how to get, how to, uh, be vent repair, mangle, and entered. I'm only gonna do hard mode because, actually, I'm not gonna do entered. I'm just gonna do mangle and toss that in with, uh, with, uh, night terrors, but not pizza party. But yeah, I might do entered. Maybe, probably not, though. Alright, let's throw him up, and I'm gonna go record the next video.